Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Gaurang Dubal. Today I am going to explain you Michelson interferometer. So Michelson interferometer is an instrument instrumentation which may use in IR spectroscopy. Now we are going to see the topic in very detail. And first we will see about the principle. Then we will see about the instrumentation part and schematic diagram and all the details. Before we start the topic, it is necessary to know about the inventor of this Michelson interferometer. The name of inventor is Albert Abraham Michelson. Sometimes people are pronouncing as Michelson. Some, Sometimes people are pronouncing as Michelson. But whatever you are pronouncing, I am pronouncing Michelson. Okay, so the lifespan of Albert Abraham Michelson was 1852 to 1931. He invented this interferometer and he was a physicist. He was not a chemist, but he was the physicist. Michelson interferometer's principle. In infrared radiation consisting of all the wavelength in range of 4000 centimeter inverse to 400 centimeter inverse is split into two beams. Means the frequency whatever wavelength we have, we are splitting into two part, two beams, which Recombined after a path difference has introduced one beam which is fixed length and another beam is variant path. So actually what we are going to do here, we are just taking the wavelength, we are splitting in two beams. After that, after some process, we are recombining and the path difference whatever introduced by the recombined will apply to the <coughs> sample. So what, what is actually happening that we are going to see now in detail, but this is the thing. A condition is therefore set up under which interference between the two beam can occur. It means what? It means a condition, a position is arranged in such a way the splitted beam will make some interference between two beams and which may generate some new patterns. So that is the aim for Michelson interferometer. Next, when the difference in the corresponding wavelength is an integral multiple of invariant beam, the interference either may be constructive or may be destructive. This means what our wavelength is, we divided We divided in two beams and we make some process into that. Which process kiya? You can see interference between two beams. So, the interference hoga, this interference either may give constructive or may give destructive interference. Ya to constructive hoga, ya to destructive hoga. Occurs when the difference is in odd integer multiple of one quarter of the wavelength. Ye jo principle hai, ye hume ye batana chata hai, ki jo interferometer hai, usme beam ko two part mein split kiya jayega, फिर स्प्लिट होने के बाद कुछ प्रोसेस होगा क्या प्रोसेस होगा वो हम आगे देखने वाले हैं सो दिस प्रोसेस व्हाट एवर हैपनिंग इज मेकिंग इंटरफेरेंस बिटवीन द टू बीम आफ्टर रीकंबाइनिंग व्हिच मे आइदर अकर कंस्ट्रक्टिव और मे अकर डिस्ट्रक्टिव इंटरफेरेंस सो दिस इज द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल फॉर द माइकेलसन इंटरफेरोमीटर नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी how the interferogram will look. If you take an interferogram, you will find some circles, 
some dark black circles, some red circles. So this type of pattern, this type of pattern, range type of pattern you will observe in the interferogram, right? So what it shows, what it shows, there is the two, two things. One you can observe the black part show you destructive interference and this part may show you the constructive interference, right? So it is an example, some destructive and constructive patterns are happening. Now next, the result of a complete variation is an oscillatory series of destructive and constructive combinations. जो हमने अभी देखा result है उसका जो complete variation है वो oscillatory series में either destructive or and it may be constructive combinations जो combined beam है जो split हुई थी बाद में combined हुई उसका जो destructive nature होगा तो एक तरह की pattern मिलेगी या तो दूसरी तरह की pattern मिलेगी जो आपको ये black and red वाली image दिखाई दी अभी so this is called interferogram. This is called interferogram. So आपको ये मिलेगा. तो अभी इसको क्या करना है? हमको हमारी जो requirement है उसमें convert करना है. Fourier transformation converts this interferogram from the time domain into the spectral point on the more familiar form of the frequency domain. So what happened? Fourier transform will convert this interferogram to the spectral point. And we are familiar with the frequency domain. So it will convert into the frequency domain, right? So whatever we desire, whatever we are expecting, a frequency domain graph will be ob obtained by the Fourier transformation process. And similar transformation at successive points throughout this variations gives rise to complete IR spectrum. This means what The transformation at successive points throughout this variation give rise to the complete IR spectrum. So after all this process, by help of Fourier transform, we can able to generate a IR spectrum of the interferogram, right? So this is all about the principle. Now you can see the experimental setup of the Michelson interferometer. So first you have to see where it starts and when it's end. Okay, so I am making an error. Yes. The experimental setup, whatever you are going to see here on the screen, that will actually start from the source. Source is source of radiation for infrared frequency. Source of radiation for infrared frequency, right? It passes through a filter here and the light coming from the source, light coming and going to a device which is called beam splitter. This is beam splitter. You can see beam splitter. So beam splitter is doing what? It is doing the change in the pathway of the beam. So one beam will go in this side. Another beam will go in this side, right? So here there is a mirror. You can see a mirror is given, here another mirror is given. So mirror will do what? It will reflect the beam. It will reflect the beam. So again beam will come to this point. Same way from here it will happen in same way. Right? And here at this point both the Reflected beam from the mirrors will get recombined, will get recombined and new property beam will be generated at the meeting point and this will come this side. 
and in between it may pass through a sample and coming to the detector. Here it is given as sodium flux, but you can see the detector will get the beam from the sample, right? Now, this is on the experimental setup. We will also see the schematic diagram and we can understand it better. Yeah, so this is the schematic diagram for Michelson interferometer. See, as I told in previous uh, figure, you can see the experimental will start from the source, source of radiation. Here, some monochromatic device is there, which filter the beam and the beam will start from here and here, whatever you are seeing, that is beam splitter. This is beam splitter. So when light beam came here, it will get splitted. Here, two phenomena are occurring. Here, two phenomena are occurring by the beam splitter. Beam splitter is doing two phenomena. First one, reflection. Another one, refraction, refraction. Here one is reflection, another is refraction. Reflection kya hota hai? Paravartan, yani ki light vapas aegi. And refraction means the angle's light will be changed. Refraction yani vakri bhavan, right? So ye dono phenomena idhar honne wale hai. So here, if the reflection happen, the light will be going in this direction to this mirror. Light will go to the this direction, right? So from the beam splitter, if reflection is happening, it will go to this mirror M2. And if the refraction is happening, it will go in this direction, that is refraction. But here you have to understand the beam splitter is continuously moving in such a way the radiation will, I, first time it will alternatively, one time refraction, one time reflection, one time refraction, another time reflection, continuously happening, right? So now the both mirror, M1 and M2 are mirrors. One, one of the mirror, one of the mirror is taken as fixed, means which will never move. While the another mirror is taken, another mirror is taken moving, moving mirror, means it will come to the near to the uh, beam splitter and either go away from the beam splitter. So that will happen, right? So whatever happening, the beam will go to the mirror. After all, it may get reflected. After all, it may get reflected. Yani ki jo beam hai, wo mirror se reflect ho ke aane wali hai. So if the one mirror is fixed, it will definitely get reflection. Another is moving and also reflection will be there, but the path length, it will be changed and Due to that, the beam's frequency will be little bit changed. Uski jo wavelength hai, usme thoda variation aayega. Aur wo variation ke karan, wo thodi different wavelength wali ho jayegi. So after that, both come to the this point and get combined. Jo dono frequencies wavelength aayegi, wo idhar aake center point pe combine hogi. Then it will pass through the sample and then go to the detector then it will go to the detector. Okay, so wall phenomena is what? Light source, monochromator, monochromatic light coming, going to the mirror, M1 and M2, one get reflected, another get, another get refracted, then both combine at the center point. After combination, the radiation will pass through the sample and going to the detector, 
and we will get some interferogram. So this is the phenomena, how it's happening. Now we are going to see the details about the Michelson interferometer. The component we already seen, as, we, as I told, the source of radiation, radiation source is there, monochromator is there, fixed mirror is M1, so we have fixed mirror, we have M1 defined, movable mirror, we have M2 defined, beam splitter, you know very well, it is in center, and the detector which is detecting the interferogram, that means the wavelengths, right? Next, the working pathway, how it's working, as I told, explain we have done it, but we will see it in detail. The instrumentation consists of two mutually perpendicular, see the angle between the M1 and M2, that is 90 degree, that is 90 degree, right? So it is called perpendicular. Consists of two mutually perpendicular mirrors, one is fixed M1, another is moving, that is M2. So it moves in only on axis. Wo jo mirror hai, wo axis pe hi move karega. M2 hai wo isi axis pe move karega. Aage jayega, piche jayega. Aage jayega, piche jayega. Is tarah se move karega, right? Move on axis that is perpendicular to its plane. Now, the movable mirror is either moved at a constant velocity or is held at equal space points for fixed short time periods and rapidly step into this point. And a beam of radiation from the source S is focused on a beam splitter placed between the fixed and movable mirror. So, we have said that the movable mirror is Usko on move karenge on axis, right? Constantly it will get uh, uh, moving and the short time period rapidly it will uh, step to this point to another point. Now a beam of radiation which coming from the source, coming from the monochromator will get introduced to the beam splitter and beam splitter will split it. Now a question may arise in your mind. A material which is doing reflection also and refraction also, how it is possible, both the phenomena occurring by what? So, this means that the material is beam splitter, ka wo typical type, ka hona chahiye, then only it can happen two types of phenomena at one place. Right? One, one point, it is continuously moving. It is continuously moving. So, angle is changing. So, that may be, that may be one reason for the Refraction and reflection, both phenomena. And another thing, the beam splitter is constructed of suitable material with necessary optical property. See, if we want two phenomena on one material, it must possess some typical properties. For that, the construction of the material of beam splitter is done by KBR coated germanium. KBR coated germanium is used for the beam splitting in the mid-infrared and polyethylene terthalate in infrared region such that half beam the, is transmitted moving mirror and which reflects the beam back to the beam splitter which reflects the part of beam through a sample to detector D. So, this means what will happen? If you look at the course, the half-splitted beam will be transmitted into the moving mirror, reflect into the beam back, and the uh, beam splitter hai, which reflects part of beam through a sample. So, the sample will go from the back. The combination of the combination hua hai, combination of two wavelengths will come to the sample. Pe then it will introduce to the detector. The other half part of beam from the beam splitter to a fixed mirror in which reflects the beam through the beam splitter detector D via the sample. Again, either likha hai 
जो डिटेक्टर के ऊपर जो कंबाइंड बीम आएगी वो पहले सैंपल के थ्रू जाके आएगी नेक्स्ट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी सम एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ द माइकलसन इंटरफेरोमीटर द फर्स्ट एप्लीकेशन इज टू डिटरमाइन द वेवलेंथ ऑफ मोनोक्रोमेटिक लाइट्स यानी कि आपको मोनोक्रोमेटिक लाइट्स की वेवलेंथ मेजर करनी है यू कैन डिटरमाइन द वैल्यूज बाय द हेल्प ऑफ माइकलसन इंटरफेरोमीटर सेकंड डिटरमिनेशन ऑफ रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ थिन ट्रांसपेरेंट शीट नेक्स्ट रिजोल्यूशंस ऑफ स्पेक्ट्रल लाइंस इफ यू वांट टू मेक ए गुड रिजोल्यूशन ऑफ योर स्पेक्ट्रल लाइंस यू कैन गो फॉर द माइकलसन इंटरफेरोमीटर and you will definitely get the resoluted spectral lines next application michelson interferometer can be used to measure the speed of light in different mediums jo light ki speed hai wo different medium mein is measure ki ja sakti hai precisely measure the exit position of an object break light up into spectrum test optical components and to study wind and temperature patterns it is also used in the upper atmosphere area so ye jo bahut sare use hai wo michelson interferometer ko use karne pe majboor karte hain so these are the application now interferometer are used in three ways it is used in three ways first slow scanning technique second stepped scanning uh, technique third rapid scanning technique but here we are going to discuss mainly about the difference or the points of slow scan technique and rapid scan technique तो इन दोनों के जो पॉइंट्स है वो हम अभी देखने वाले हैं एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ रैपिड एंड स्लो स्कैन एज आर बिलो तो जो एडवांटेजेस यानी कि जो फायदे और डिसएडवांटेजेस यानी कि कोई नुकसान तो वो किस तरह से हैं तो हम वन बाय वन देखेंगे अगर कोई चीज का पॉजिटिव पॉइंट है तो डेफिनेटली अनदर पार्ट विल मे बी नेगेटिव ऑल्सो okay so first we will see about the slow scan first point interferograms are usually symmetric so that the phase correction may not be necessary in the slow scan interferogram are symmetric so no need to make the phase correction while if you think about the rapid scan technique interferograms are usually asymmetric and phase correction must be applied due to the asymmetric nature so jo first difference hai slow scan mein correction necessary nahi hai rapid scan must apply the uh, correction phase correction now the second point well suited for far infrared स्लो स्कैनिंग टेक्निक फार इंफ्रारेड के लिए बहुत ही सूटेबल है राइट रैपिड स्कैन हाई स्पीड हाई स्कैन स्पीड आर रेदर नेसेसरी टू जनरेट द फुलर फ्रीक्वेंसी ग्रेटर देन टेन हर्ड फॉर वेरी लॉन्ग वेव लेंथ इन आई आर रीजियन मीन्स इन दिस टेक्निक इट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू जनरेट द greater than 10 hertz frequency by high speed uh, speeds scanning slow scan third point the signal to noise ratio is too high for accurate digitalization noise level in interferogram of intense source so that the low resolution in mid ir absorption spectra cannot be मेजर एफिशियंटली तो स्लो स्कैन टेक्निक है उसमें मिड इंफ्रारेड रीजन में जो मेजरमेंट है वो एफिशियंटली 
थोड़ी कम होगी इन रैपिड स्कैन द सिग्नल टू नोइस रेशियो फॉर ईच इंटरफेरोग्राम इज सफिशिएंटली लो सो इन मिडिल आईआर स्पेक्ट्रा कैन मेजर्ड यूजिंग इंटेंस सोर्स बाय सिग्नल एवरेजिंग सो इन दिस केस इन थर्ड केस रैपिड स्कैनिंग इज लुक्स बेटर in slow scan chopper is required needed but in rapid scan no chopper is required in a slow scan have been successfully applied to high resolution measurements but rapid scan not applicable to ultra high resolution measurement without dynamic alignment so this is the limitation in the fifth point of rapid scan for high resolution measurement you must make some dynamic alignment otherwise you will not get the exact result what you need right while in slow scan high resolution measurements can be done easily right so these are the key difference in slow and fast scanning in michelson interferometer thank you for listen with patience thank you very much